This is Moin coming on to you from Dallas Real Networks. This is Political Thursdays with my man here, CJ. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? What's How's life? Good? Yeah, yeah everything's beautiful. great. Awesome. Good to have you here, bro. Yeah. Because today's topic is very important to me and my brother here because we are both very passionate about what we're about to share with you guys. But we always have this this debate. We get off off of each other because you're you're a completely different perspective. Your perspective is different. I'm still learning, so my perspective is always different. When I talk to you, I learn a little bit about myself. I think you learn a little bit about yourself too. Absolutely. I see your point of view, and uh, I, I understand a little bit more about you know what I believe in in, in, in life yeah. and in politics. What do you think about the political drama that's going on in, in the world right now? Political drama, man, it's, um, I think it's really like a, a circus show, mm -hmm. like just clowns, they get on TV and they distract us from the issues that are really going on in this world and all of us are continuing to fall into this trap, um, mm -hmm. but if we can come out of it, I think there is still time to save this country. Okay, that that's a fair argument. Now, the main news this week is that President Donald Trump has his first address to Congress. Yeah. And then he presented a lot of different things that I really resonate with. Yeah. But there's a lot of things that a lot of liberal and the media are complaining and whining and crying about. And uh, it's just, to me, that's not valuable. That's not, that shows me weakness and insecurities, but complaining and whining. Yeah. Because, you know, at the end of the day, this guy got elected and then he's, a, he's the president Trump. Right. Let's stop talking about what went wrong and how my ideology and your ideology differs with each other and just come to a point and we can go forward from now because we got to have to work together. Yeah. They have to work with the president. I feel you. I can understand that. But I, I would say that the, the Congress and everybody that you see is a reflection of the leadership. So mm. if you recognize Trump getting on stage and complaining mm. and and going on and whining, as mm. you say, about uh, the media and how they portray him. They're lying on me about this, about that. Why aren't you telling us about what's really going on in the world? Like, why are you making the decisions that you're mm. making? Or what decisions you plan to be making? Like, mm. focus. Why can't you focus? But I will tell you that this was the first time that I seen him with mm. his act kind of cleaned up. Yeah, because he... He, he, he looked he, a lot more polished. He can I, I can see him fluctuating from one character to another when yeah. it's needed. When needed. When when it's time for him to shake hands, I can see him doing that yeah. because I think he he has done this before with his you know his book that I've read. Right. Uh, this guy is not what it looks like. You know oh, what no, I mean? No, he can no. shift and change. But one thing that I you know he mentioned was that he said that majority of the people voted for him. Mm -hmm. And they had some issues that was not addressed for a long time in this country. You right. know, people were poor, people were suffering, in, you know, expenses growing up and up and up and their minimum wage is stagnating, the middle class is getting crushed, there is problems, violence in communities which are poor. And he came in here with the shining armor saying he's going to finally take care of this stuff. Right. And people got excited. Now, long story short. He uh, mentioned that, specifically, quote, he was not elected to represent the world. Right. He was elected to represent the United States of America and the people. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Well, I mean, I think he definitely has a point. He was definitely elected uh, to represent us. And I think that we, or he has to look within himself in order for us to have a successful country. Mm -hmm. I think that he has to start with addressing the problems here at home, and in some ways, he's done those things. Um, he, I think he specifically mentioned, he, this is what he said, he, we have spent millions and millions of dollars in war, you know, mm -hmm. I think you support that fact, uh, in the Middle East, and our infrastructure, roads, airports are a disaster here. Hmm. And it's time that we really invest. I think he's trying to pass a bill that's the uh, inter, uh, the uh, infrastructure improvement authority or something like that. I'm not sure, not not specific, but he's definitely working on something. Now, he also said that he's going to increase the military. Yeah. Like they're working on a budget that's going to be a lot a lot of money going to the military. What do you think about this? I think that is clown work. Like, why are we continuing? 
continuing to flush our money down an endless pit. Like the more you spend on military, everyone knows that we are the big dogs on campus. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that we spend the most money. We have the biggest Navy. Why are we continuing to try and push that tactic of scaring the world or being the world police? This, this is what I really don't understand. How is it that you can say that you are a or, or to represent the United States mm -hmm. when you are constantly sending our people into other countries? What is the purpose okay, of Okay, he has not sent anybody abroad no, yet. No, but you are spending an additional $84 billion mm -hmm. in the next year and a half. Mm -hmm. On defense, where is it going? Where are these people going? Are you are you going to spend all this money and then we build a lot of machinery? Nobody else is at war right now. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. are we supplying this? Are we going toward? Are we helping our allies with some future war that's being placed right now? I don't know. These are all questions that I have. But why are we spending that? We're spending that amount of money on an issue that does not matter at the moment. He said that up your hour. <clears throat> military is depleted and destroyed and there's so much restrictions that we're not advanced enough that's what he said we're not I, I don't I'm, I don't know why if this is right or wrong but there is an issue that we're not technologically advanced for the level that we can be that's what he said okay so if that is the issue so that means that we need smarter people so if we need smarter people why are we investing that amount of money that 80 plus billion dollars mm -hmm. into education mm -hmm. and allowing with 84 billion dollars no every problem. student I'm sorry every public university could afford to have free tuition 84 billion that's true and we would start to tap into the student loan debt but we don't do that like we are not working to get to the root of things I believe that we have politicians who are in place right now who focus on the exterior. So you you think, okay, the economy is doing bad, so I need a job right away. Hmm. No, you need to start preparing because you're in a slump. Hmm. That's how the stock market works. Yes. You're in a slump. So you need to start preparing for your come up. Well, your come up is going to be when the students who are in school now mm -hmm. and the children that we have today are running this country in 20 years. They're developed enough, they have enough resources, they have enough knowledge about the money, this and that, uh, the different things. But to be honest with you, I really support or I really resonate with Donald Trump for some reason whatsoever. I don't know why. I'm the least person to be supporting him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I think this country needed somebody like this. Like we have gone so far down the drain. A lot of people have not been, a lot of people felt like their voice was not heard for way too long. Mm -hmm. I think this is why this, we came to this point that now somebody like Donald Trump is going to represent this country to the world and, and to the people. But there's another thing that he mentioned was making the level field fair for everybody to trade with. What do you think about that? I think I, I agree. We should have a level playing field, but do you, do, do, do you know the issue like we had all this time with the the trade like the, agreement, like the trade agreement and mm -hmm. the taxes that people would other countries would put on products from going from America to their country, while their products coming into the country would not be taxed. What do you think about that? I think that's a problem, but the reason that problem started is because some thirty years ago, mm -hmm. one of our presidents had the bright idea to make our global economy so that other countries could manufacture goods and we would make it free for them to ship back in so the fortune 500s of this world mm -hmm. when most of, most of them are in the united states i'm sure a lot of them are in the united majority states. of them let's majority majority, majority of them are majority in the majority yeah. are in the united states but the top 100 that are overseas they're bringing in billions of dollars paying no taxes might i add 27 of the countries, I'm sorry, 20, 27 of the businesses who are overseas don't pay an, a, a tax on their business. They didn't pay that in 2016. I would love to name some of them for you. Mm -hmm. um, Please. There was United Airlines mm -hmm. who manufactures goods in a foreign country. Manufactures goods meaning their aircrafts? United Airlines, what, does, what do they manufacture? They manufacture parts for their aircraft. Okay. Not, obviously not. Not airplanes. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So parts for the airplane. They sell it to other companies. Send it. Um, or it's made in foreign countries mm -hmm. and then shipped back over because it's free. And those are one of the, if you were to start investing tomorrow, 
you should invest in the indexes, the Fortune 500s, the top 500 companies in the world. Reason being is because in the past 30 years, they've only had one down year. And that was in 2008. You serious? Dead serious. Investors, whoever is watching, this is your, this is your stock that you want to use. How much is the stock price? Um, well, it's, it's up right now. It's up 100%. 100 points, I'm sorry. Like, do, do, do you remember what, like, what is the price of one per stock? No. It's not definitely not a penny stock. No, no, no. Hell of course no. not. And I, I'm di I am mainly in the penny stock world in most of my days. That's, mm. you know, a reality for me. Mm -hmm. But when I long term invest, when I put my money in my retirement money right now, mm -hmm. is in the S&P. S&P? We're going to talk about this and Money Mondays for those of you guys who are interested in this. Now, let's get back to our rebuttals here. Yeah. We disagree on a lot of different things yeah. when it comes to Republicans and when it comes to... Because, you know, you think, you, you, you're just not a Donald Trump kind of guy. You just don't understand what the hell is he doing. I think... I, I, I wouldn't say that's true, bro. I, I just have... Do you think we should give this cat a shot? I do. And I wanted to say that I do support Donald Trump. That is one thing that I don't want to be misconstrued. Okay, yes. I do support Donald Trump because he is the leader of the country whether I like it or not. Yes. That's, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I would just like for him to pay attention to some of the more socially reflecting issues okay. that we have be more knowledgeable about the society that we live in here in the United States. It's very diverse. It has a lot of issues that we have to address. It's very critical. It's very nerve-wracking. But it has to be handled because that's the, that's the foundation of the United States. Is that what you're trying to say? Absolutely. It is our foundation. Now, the second news that came out was that we just uh, san not sanctioned. They just passed uh, the building of the USS Joe R. Ford. It's going to be a U.S. aircraft carrier for the U.S. Navy. One of the biggest, the most advanced of its kind. Till recent times. No, nothing can compete with that. It's going to carry, I think, 70 aircrafts on its deck. It looks mm -hmm. like an island, like, floating on the water. What do you think about that, dude? What are we going to do with this? Float around in the big seas and just wave our flags to other countries and be like, Hey, what's up, man? What's up? <laughs> no, I, I doubt that highly. <laughs> I don't, I, it doesn't, it does not make sense to me. Because, why, why, I, I'm making it funny because this is the same thing that our previous, one of the great presidents, FDR, Federal Delano Roosevelt, have done after World War II on the Great Depression. They expanded their military and they said, we're going to carry a big stick, but we're not going to hit anybody. That's, I think this, big, Donald Trump is following a lot of the things that the old generations of our political leaders have done before. You know, expanding the military, being strong, being an, an epidemic of power, but not doing anything. So why would we continue a cycle that clearly was not, that did not work? That did not work last time. Why are we doing I mean, that I, again? I, I, I don't know if it worked or not. We were not alive probably I can tell time. you it didn't work because if it did, we would have stuck to that system and it, we would have continued to progress. You know, but like, we didn't. Why is like that? life, Economies and world and situations is not the same like stocks. It will never be the same. So one thing that have worked at that time, systems changed, situations changed, economies changed, world changed, didn't work for a little bit. I don't know if it's going to work this time or not. I have no clue. But I think they're trying. You know, let's just try. But I don't know. I don't support it, to be honest with you. I have no clue why they're doing this to the military. But... There is a terrorist threat all around the world, and we got to, if we're so powerful, why didn't we get rid of that problem? This problem that have, like, colored my name and people who are here from the same race or same backgrounds, it has colored their name. And it's, it's putting pressure on immigration and refugees for this specific reason, this radicalist group. We gotta get rid of this stuff, bro. The problem How is the best way to do that? <clears throat> well, see, the problem with what happened before, why it does not resonate now, mm. is because we weren't actually going into war with someone else. We only spent six months in the ground during World War II. We were shipping all those materials and things out. Mm. We are repeating that cycle now, but we are actually fighting people. We spent $12.7 trillion in four, four, just four different places, bro. Twelve point seven trillion. Our national debt, by the way, is a nineteen trillion. I don't know. You do math, but it's still a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a, I'm the, saying the middle is a disaster. I still propose that 
going to war with another group of people or carrying yeah, around I think a big stick. Hmm. If you walk around my neighborhood with a big stick every day, eventually me and you are going to fight. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. We are it's going to fight. It's very true. You're not gonna just walk. I'm, I don't. I don't feel like. I don't understand why we as a country feel as though we should be going into every other place and just punking them and taking over their society, making them operate the way that we operate, as if everything in this country is peaches and cream. We don't have it figured out here. There's a group of people that you have been suppressing in this country for centuries now. Mm -hmm. Centuries, bro. Centuries, that makes no sense. So why would you place yourself and corrupt another group of people to be like you? I understand exactly what you're saying. I resonate with you. But I really believe or feel like, I might be completely wrong out of my mind, but I can care less. To see what Donald Trump does and takes this country. Where, where, where does this go from here on and onwards? This is Moin and CJ coming on to you from Dallas Real every Thursday. It was Political Thursdays. We're very passionate about this topic. We love it. We love debating because I'm different than him. He's different than me. We're going to keep on watching and we're going to keep on learning and we're going to participate rather than complaining and whining. Yeah. This is Dallas Real. Till next time.